How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today we are going to have a Mother's Day collab. I am collabed with a couple other beauties um, and I will put their links down below. You can go and check them out and see what looks they come up with. Um, the Mother's Day collab is basically based on flower, like a flower that, um, you know, maybe you love or uh, enjoy or have gotten your mother or any, anything like that. Just has, you know, something in reference to a flower and being influenced um, by that. So, um, my flower I chose was, um, I like, I like several different flowers, but um, I do like a lotus really well, and I do love lilies, and I've always thought about getting one of those tattooed on me, um, and of course I like the color purple, so I went with the color uh, purple, um, like an orchid purple color or something like that, uh, lily, and usually some most lilies will have like that yellow in the middle, and then it fades into the purple uh, color, like it's a light purple, and then goes into a little more deeper purple. So that's what I decided to do with my eye look and um, just everything, like basically focused on just the eyes to show you what I was doing. Um, I was going to go ahead and show you a full on face. Uh, I was going to skip the foundation, but I was going to let you see what I was going to put on for as a blush and a lip, but I'll show you right now, like the products I used and I just cut to the chase and just because really my eyes was the focus uh, as many of my looks are when I do a collab um, you know my eyes are the focus because I like playing around and learning more and just experimenting with my eye looks so um, I ended up using these two palettes with, which they are limited edition edition from Wet n Wild Probably the only place you can get them now is maybe eBay I guess because I can't even think of where I should be able to get them at um, this one's called Flirting at the After Party, and it um, has some nice purple colors in there. And then this one's the Walking the Red Carpet, which is more gold and yellow tones and stuff, and a little more neutral in there. So these are the two palettes I ended up using. And Brandon's in. Um, not sure how well you'll be able to fully see it. I'm hoping my lighting's going to stink. I wanted to do this during the daytime. Uh, however, there was so much going on, and then my daughter stopped by with my granddaughter. So, but um, I did a yellow, like in the inner corner, like the gold color. I used it in the inner corner to represent, like, the um, inner part of the flower, like where it first blooms, and you know, and then worked into the purple colors uh, up and around the rest of it to make it for the um, lily. So I went ahead and used those two palettes. I like I said it's a purple lily. Uh, my mascara, I used the Lights Camera Flashes. I did use that for my eyelashes. I think I do show that stuff. My eyebrows, I used my e.l.f. eyebrow kit. That's what I ended up doing with my eyebrows. Um, I ended up priming my face. I used the e.l.f. e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. I did use that for my primer. Uh, for my concealer, I used the Mali Age Rebel Concealer. Comes in a little container like that, so I used that as my concealer. I lightened up a little bit under the eyes with my Maybelline uh, Conceal, um, the Master Conceal, this one here, have it in light or fair, no, the foundation fair, I chose to use was the Dewy Smooth from Fit Me, or Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, love this stuff, topped it and set everything a little bit with the, um, this is the 4-in-1 from uh, Pure Minerals. It is a powder foundation, but I do it just to do a little extra coverage, so I use that. Then I contoured with my uh, Bonjour palette that I have from Too Faced. I use the Chocolate Soleil in it. And for my blush and highlight, I use my Naked Urban Decay Flushed in Native. I used this pink blush here. 
and I use that highlight to highlight on my uh, cheekbones and stuff. And oh, and then for my lips, I used, I just got this. It's the uh, cream lip stain in, I think it's in, oh my goodness, violet something. It's violet something. The Sephora cream lip stains, but yeah, that. And then I topped it with my uh, Lip Lava from CoverGirl in the more neutral shade. It's the first one. It's the more neutral kind of shade. I set everything with my Wet n Wild Fergie, uh, what is this again? <laughs> Take on the Day Matte Mattifying Powder. Did that and set everything and whatnot. And doo -doo -doo, I think that's it. Okay, so um, yeah, I'll put the others links down below and you can go and check them out. Um, like I said, this is going to be up kind of later. I'm hoping I have everything in order. Um, my brother was in, had a problem. Um, just there, there was a lot of stuff going on. Uh, and you know how it is. Everything just comes all at the one moment. So, and yeah and then today it was nice uh, my daughter came with my granddaughter they brought me some flowers some roses some uh, peach blush colored rose roses gorgeous and a beautiful card so that was wonderful and then she played in the pool for a while so my little sophie was playing in the pool so of course you know and i didn't get to film this till till late so all right beauties thank you so much i will go ahead and take you to the video where you can see me applying everything and then i will be back after that so, see you in a bit. Okay, let's go ahead and do the look. Um, it is a hot one here today. Let me just say. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Walking the Red Carpet I'm gonna first. Use this color. It's like a neutrally brown color, to or brown, light brown color. Uh, it says for eyelid, but I'm going to use it in the um, crease or above the crease a little bit. Here's my Soho fluffy or blending brush, whatever. And just all over the place. It's been a crazy day. I'm getting this up at the last minute. And it's just been a very hectic day here. So, uh, well, week, I guess you could say. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to work that color a little bit above. The crease. My kitty's meowing. I guess you don't hear him now, but he was. Where's my... Yeah, my Mally one that I like to use really well. I like to use that for in the crease a lot. It's like a double... I showed it my favorites. I'm going to use this color here that's like an orchid color. And this palette here that's the... Uh, flirting at the after party. Is that what it's called? Again, it says uh, eyelid, but I'm not going to do the eyelid. I'm going to do in the crease with it. Okay, for below the brow, which pardon the bra thing here, Shane, because, yeah, just, it's too hot and whatever. It's going to be there. It's not no big deal. It's a black one, too. Um, but for there, I'm going to go ahead and use this one. It's more, um, it's kind of like the color that uh, Wet n Wild has in, um, what's that, Cream, Creme Brulee or whatever that one is that everybody seems to really like really well. So I'm going to use that for here.
I figured it would be a better color to work with here. Okay, I'm going to take that same color, that um, one that looks like an orchidy color, and put part of that on my lid now, near where I just did the whole crease area. Okay. You can use any purple you want, obviously. Um, if you want to do something similar to what I'm doing. So over top of it, I thought I would go ahead and do this brow bone color here that's in the purple one. And it's more of a... Sort of in the pink, the very light pink purple. So I'm going to do a, a little bit of that over top of what I just did. Oops, trying to get right into the angle here. Just so it's a little bit lighter than the crease color. Like that, you know, just a little bit lighter. Okay, and then here's where the um, yellow golden color is going to come in play. Um, it's going to be this color here, and this one that's a little more goldeny. I was trying to find something that I had that was yellow. I probably do, but I couldn't find it. I wasn't having any luck at this moment. So I figured I'd go with that. That's why I kind of picked these two palettes. Because I wanted to do that specific... Whoops, sorry. Goodness me. I keep doing that. So it will kind of give me that nice yellow golden color that um, the flower that I had thought I would do. This brush again and go in that brown color. Again, well, whatever, the one that I used above the crease, this color again. I'm going to do that to kind of kind of get some of the colors together. Sorry if I'm lacking getting close enough. I hope that's, you know. Use this little guy here for one of my Mally brushes too. To get in just a little more darker, just in the outer, in the outer V with a purple. Probably use the one that's right down below from the orchid, this darker color of purple. And I'm just going to go ahead and work just a little bit in here and work a little bit in the crease there too, but just give it a little more of a darker color. Then I'm going to use the other side of the Mally brush that I was using and go ahead and blend some of that. Buff it in. Simon! I'm going to go ahead and wipe any excess if there was any little bit of fallout. Kind of why I didn't want to put my foundation on. Okay, I'm going to use my CoverGirl, um, the new CoverGirl Intensify Me uh, 
liquid eyeliner. I'm going to use that to do the top part of my lashes. I'm just going to do the thin line right now. I'm going to go ahead and do the upper inner with that, which, like I said, it's so much easier to do than some of the other ones. I'm going to go ahead and use my Mally eyeliner in Purple X. I always forget, purple red or something. It's one of her um, ever color. So I'm going to use that on my waterline. And I'm going to use my Tarte Lights Camera Flashes Mascara. Okay, be back and do my, I'll be back and do my foundation. But um, not quite done yet. But I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back, and that was it. That was the look. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, I will have the links down below of the other beauties that have joined me in this collaboration. I really had fun doing it. I do enjoy doing collabs. Um, and I hope everybody's safe out there. I know the weather's been very wacky these last few days, so. Um, and I just seen a, a thing pop up about one was dead in Texas from tornadoes. So my thoughts and prayers go out to anybody and everybody out there that's really dealing with this really intense weather that we've been having. Um, I, I really hope and pray for you guys and I hope everything's okay. And um, just please be safe. Take care. And um, so if you did like this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. That would so much help me out. And I would so appreciate it very, very much. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. You can go ahead and click the subscribe button and um, just join me each week. Um, and thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you. Thank you very much. And if you did come from one of the other beauties, welcome. I hope you stay and stick around. And like I said, click the subscribe button. And then, as always, beauties, please remember to just be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you all take care, and I will see you then. Bye-bye. Love you. Mwah. And happy Mother's Day to each and every one of you mothers out there. Bye-bye.